Well, more on that bus that I scored like too cheap with nothing wrong with it. I went to that auction just looking to buy a minivan and a saw. I saw the picture of that bus on the internet, you know, on the website. I didn't pay any attention to it, it was just a bus. But it was an auction that was after dark. It was cold outside, so they were so showing a slideshow of all the unusual large vehicles like motorhomes and trailers, boats, weird stuff. Just a slideshow inside the building. Well, when the bus came up, the auctioneer kept calling for a bid. There was no bids. Somebody finally just said 500 bucks. And the auctioneer says, 500, 500, who'll give me a thousand? No, no bids. So after a while, he was desperate. I put my hand up and said, 600 bucks. He said, sold. What the fuck? I got a bus? No idea. I just said it on a lark. I just looked and I said, 96? Turbo diesel? What could be wrong with it? Looks okay in the picture. How can you go wrong? So, just beginner's luck. I just have to be at the right place at the right time. And nobody wanted to buy a bus. Who's got a place to park one? Who's got a shop big enough to put one in in the wintertime and work on it like I do if you want to? That's the problem. I never drove a bus before. Hadn't been in one of those buses in over 30 years. <laughs> I didn't, didn't have a clue. Didn't even know what it looked like till I went back three days later and saw it on Monday. Turned out it looked great. Beginner's luck again. So I don't really st still know what I'm gonna do with it. But what I'm learning is it's worth anywhere between four and five thousand dollars here, maybe even more. It doesn't have high kilometers. It's in great shape inside and out. Maybe if someone gives me a decent price for it, I'll sell it just the way it is. I gave it a whole look over today and I couldn't find anything wrong with it. I just don't get it. It's really well maintained. I feel really guilty if I was just gonna destroy it and chop it up and do crazy things like we do at Dave's farm. Uh, for something that looks like that, like, come on. But if I get some money for it, like a lot more than I paid, well then I wouldn't feel guilty if I go out and buy another bus, like a shitty one, one that still drives, and then I can do anything I want. I'll feel okay. <laughs> you know, I normally destroy three pieces of shit. Not like something I can get 5,000 bucks for. So let's see what's gonna happen. Who knows, I'll put it on an ad on the internet for free and see if there's any bites. If not, if it's still around here in the spring, and we'll have some fun with it, but I really don't think it's going to do Sky Hill, that's for sure. And good news again. Got my Google check again today for the month of November. My best month ever. $1,334.50 US. That's going to be cool when I cash it in, because right now the Canadian dollar is only is not worth much so for that at the exchange rate of a dollar twenty five I'm gonna get about sixteen hundred and fifty Canadian sweet <laughs> so keep up the good work everyone and keep enjoying those commercials this, this this is the greatest job in the world drinking beer swearing having fun buying buses who knows what's next and every month I get my rent check this is from the upstairs of my house. Since I'm a cheap bachelor, I live in the basement. My house is paid for, so I get $890 and it pays my taxes and it pays my, you know, gas and electricity and stuff like that and not much other bills. And this 100 acre farm pays me $150 per acre by the farmers who rent my land. So I have two fields like this, one on each side of the building. And there's the other one. So that adds up to 63 acres that are workable, 37 acres, which I call the back 40 that we play on. And that adds up to 9,500 a year income from the farm. And the taxes are only $1,575. Gotta love it, all the rest is profit. And by the way, I got contacted by a big uh, Tokyo television station in Japan. And they're buying a redneck roller coaster video off me. So I'm gonna be seen on Japanese television and they're going to mention David's Farm. Great advertising. Let's see how many of those Japanese people like what we do with our North American cars over here and want to subscribe. Gotta love it. <laughs>